Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video where somebody down there is a cheater. You cheat. Look at that. You can't get that wood over here. Anyhow, it is spook season, and we need to go find me a spook tree. I have been looking all over. Actually, that was a horrible idea. I should probably go back up there. I've been looking all over, and I haven't seen a single one. Okay, and... Um, why is the interface so tiny? Do you guys see this? Test, test, test. Is my voice okay? Hold on. Test, test. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so anyhow. Where we left off yesterday is I was trying to do this stuff in VR and it was just not working because um, you don't get the same distance as on a computer. Now, with that being said, I might be able to hook this thing up. Uh, somebody said, do it via USB-C cable. I've got the actual cable, the one that you buy from uh, from Oculus, and I've got it uh, to play before. I just, I was really enjoying the native Roblox player. Is that, is that one over there? Or is that the top of another tree? I can't tell, but I'm heading that direction. I might need to grab me a long plank. And I don't see anything up there. So let's just go. Let's go jump down. And I need to go find my truck. And I will need a long plank. Let's see. This looks good. Okay, sit down. Sit down, there you go. Now, didn't we have... It's not a long plank, but it's a long something. There it is. Okay. That'll work for now. That's that's really all I needed. It's just something to walk on. Here, come here, you. Get out from under that fence. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's unstable. The stability. Whoa. Boom. That works. Fits perfect. <laughs> Ooh. Um. There we go. Oh, uh, now it's in front of my face. Uh, ugh. 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 Yuck. Yuckity. Yuck. 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 Hor horrible. Horrible. Code. Like, do you not know how to play lumber? Seriously. All right. We need to put that. Like that. Hold on. A little bit more center. A little bit more center. There. Mm hmm. It's about right. It's close enough. Close enough. Now, how do I get out of here? I'm not going to be able to get out of here, am I? <laughs> I'm too long now. All right, hold on. If I turn this slightly, and then I turn myself, there we go. <gasps> cheater left. Bye, cheater. <gasps> and he stole TikTok's wood. Mmm, what a cheat. Should we go? Should we go find out what his name is? Should we expose the cheater to the world? All the. <laughs> All the exploiters right now who watch me as well are like, no, Code, don't do that. Don't expose him. Dude, you do know that, like, exposed is like a 2018, 2020 thing. I don't know. Cotton 4K on lumber. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Spin. Okay. Here we go. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. All right, I gotta go see if uh, you know what. Stay there, stay there. I gotta go see if this tree was a tree or not. Gotta go see a man about a tree. That means somebody's got a poop. <laughs> if you ever hear somebody say, uh, "I gotta go see a man about a dingo," or "I gotta go see a man about a horse," that is code for "I've got a poop." <gasps> I might not have to use my thing. No TNT today. No TNT today. Oh. We're through. Look at it. Look at it. All right. Did I see that thing over here or what? I think I may have just seen the tops of those trees. 
Mm, no spook wood here. No spook wood. Spooky, spooky wood. In the place. What is this? Winter biome? No. Tangenia? Tangia? I don't remember what this place is called. So you're gonna have to look that up. Wiki knows. The wiki like has all of the labels for everything. Is this the Tangenia Mountain Pass? I don't even know what to call this little area over here. Hold on, is there still a hole in the floor here? No, it looks like he might have patched it. There used to be this awesome hole. Like, back in, in lumber chat days, like back whenever the wiki still had a chat room, there was a hole. And I did a video. I think we, we dropped down into it and tried exploring around and... I don't know. It was a while ago. Memories. Uh, I love going back and watching some of my old videos. Oh my gosh, dude. <sighs> Whoever it was that had sent me the, uh, the comment about, hey code, Teach us how to do the cave wood assembly line. That video was so old. It's literally me and Blobby uh, with an entire server of people teaching them how to get the blue wood and bring it to the base. But everybody's working at once. And we did, we had like a two hour video on it. It was so long. Anyhow, just going back and seeing, seeing that gave me the nostalgia to say, you know what? Life is too short not to record. Oh gosh. That's not a mantra or a saying or anything fancy like that. It's just me being me. Oh gosh, I fell. Okay. <laughs> I fell down. I wasn't planning on falling down, but it has been a while since I've done this little thing. Um, A lot of you still can't drive this thing with uh, a vol hauler. So you can do it with the smaller car. Woo. The little hoopty. But, ooh, the trick to the vol hauler is always keeping those front wheels aligned with the center of the truck. Whoa. Three wheel contact. There it goes. Whee. See? Easy peasy. It just takes some practice. This is your world. You're the creator. Welcome to Roblox. Powering imagination. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go see if there's a spook tree up here. <clears throat> Any spook trees? Nothing? Nothing. Do we see any spook trees around that direction? I don't even see any off in the distance. What about over in that distance? Are we too high for this distance? All right, let's go. Wee, woo. <laughs> Skills. Oh man, I love that stuff. All right, no spook trees over here. Let's head up the uh, volcano. Um, here's the thing. I hope there's at least one per server because I don't plan on doing a bunch of server hopping tonight. I just want there to be a spook tree. Players. <sighs> what are you guys going as uh, for Halloween? What, what do you have for your costume ideas? Um, are you doing Halloween this year? That's another question, because I got a lot of teens watching my show. Are, are you too old for trick-or-treating now? Is it is it that time? Have we grown up? No? I don't know. If you're already an adult and you still participate in Halloween like I do, what are you going dressed as? For me, I'm getting dressed up as Skullboy from Ruby Gloom. 
If you guys don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It's kind of an obscure um, reference. But my wife, she's going as Ruby Glue. I'm going as Skullboy. Um, Oliver, what's Oliver going as? Oh, I forgot what he's going as. Anyhow. I think Hope is trying to do a uh, Sundrop and Moon costume. But she's trying to do a Sundrop cosplay. Which is pretty cool. I mean, she's uh, she's actually got some cool stuff going on. Uh, another outfit that she was making. I don't know if it was for just cosplay or if it was for um, an actual Halloween costume. She made uh, Sky, Chil Children of Light. She's got the wings created from Sky, Children of Light. So whether she does cosplay with it or if she does costume for Halloween, either way, it looks amazing. She did a good job. I've <clears throat> been playing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons lately. A lot of Dungeons and Dragons. So, we have uh, three campaigns going right now. I've got one with a starter kit that one of Hope's friends brought over and they wanted me to DM. So, we've got that campaign going. I've got the Lost Minds of Phandalin. That one I'm, I'm running with... Uh, Hope and Oliver, I think two other people, Winston, maybe? Anyhow. And then I've got the third one with just Oliver and Hope, which is the Tunnel of Terror. Yeah, yeah, it's the old school remake, but uh, with new, uh, new, uh, rules, rules, the, the rules have been updated for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Which, by the way, is the edition that we're on right now. I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons since it was advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I don't remember ever playing the adventure game, which was what it first started as, I think. And then the original Dungeons and Dragons, I only got um, the... Oh no! No, did I just lose it? Dang it. Hold on. Did we just lose that? Oh, yeah. I, I just lost my TNT, didn't I? Dang it. How am I supposed to get back up there? Did we... Did he fix the wall climb? Hold on. There is no more wall climbs, right? Yeah. Wall climbing is fixed. Alright. So... That code, what are you doing? Alright, so turning goes that way. So we need to turn this way. And turn. Whoa. Turn. Maybe I need to turn? Whoa! Okay, that's not working. Turn, 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 turn. Ooh, there we go. All right. Now this was not intentional, <laughs> but we are now under the map looking at an area that I've I've never seen before. Well, I mean, I know where I'm at. It's just what? Of course. Of course I would find a little hidden secret area and not have my volume on, right? No, volume's on. We're recording. We're good. Hmm. Well, I don't know how to get out of this predicament. Can we turn again? Is there another rotate or a turn of some kind? Can I jump out? <gasps> void kill? Void kill. Okay, cool. Oh, I don't lose my axe on a void kill. See? Alright. So, 
Nothing over that direction. And I lost my TNT. Dang it. I still wish there was a run on this. Still got my blueprint out trying to save my, my truck. Ain't happening, code. Uh, hello there, Mr. Walter White. Whoa, whoa, dude, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you on my base? Hold on. How are you able to get into my base? No, oh, visits from anyone. Walter. Alright, Walter. Can... DOS pop Mando 2? Can do DOS pop... Can... I don't know what that means. Here, goodbye. Did it teleport him? Or no? Oh yeah, it teleported him over there. So, stay off my base, please! Thank you. Sorry, Walter. Code, why? Hi, Hyper Beast. Hi, uh, who is that? Jelly? Alright, I'm gonna go look one more time. I'm gonna go over to the swamps and look. And I think I'm gonna call it. I mean, I want to find a spookwood tree this year, but... We've still got plenty of time. There's 31 days this month, so still got 28 days of searching, you know? And if there's a problem with the server stuff like we did last year, where it was, yeah, um, I'm glad Defaultio extended it out for us. Oh. Okay. Heading in the world. Up the road. Mm. Can you guys tell that my my nose is clogged? I mean, it's I'm like only breathing out of one nostril, and it's it's like half breathing out. So I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if you need to know that or not, but you know it now. So take that knowledge with you and enjoy it. So, um, I was trying to help my daughter tonight with chemistry and, um, isotopes, like her trying to figure out isotopes and stabilities and stuff like that. And I don't know if I just get it or if like, because I tried asking my wife as well, if she knew what isotopes and stuff were and she's like, no, I don't care. I'm like, okay. So an isotope is nothing more than a regular atom that has additional neutrons. Neuron. Neuron? Proton. Neutron. Neutrons. <sighs> so, for example, a hydrogen. Alright, hydrogen is Latin, meaning born from water, and hydro, meaning water, gin, meaning born of. So, um, hydrogen is one proton, one neutron, one electron. Well, at least that's its most common isotope. Um, now, the change to that is two neutrons, three neutrons. So you get hydrogen two, hydrogen three. And dang it. Not going as planned today. Oh my gosh. This is just the worst. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. All right, we're not going to be able to turn that way. So rotate, rotate, two rotates. Come on, one more rotate. And a turn. There we go. And a turn. Hopefully I can pick this up. Get in the car, sir. Or ma'am. I don't want to have a whole bunch of hate comments because I mispronounced or misgendered a TNT stick. Ugh. TNT doesn't have genders. Do does it? Does it? Does it? Get out of my way, tree. What do you think you're doing? I was here first. Technically, I wasn't. The tree was here first. But. All right, get in the back of the truck. 
I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, let's do a rotate. There we go. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm a little bitter about the whole genders and pronouns thing. Like it's it's just. Oh. And I hate to do that. Like I hate to be blah about the situation, but I I am more nervous about messing up somebody's pronouns than actually getting them right. Does that does that make sense to anyone else? Like it is just so much easier like look at the boy, that's a boy. Look, that's a girl. That like in my head growing up, that's just how it was. And it's it's a very confusing time nowadays. Now, don't get me wrong. Whenever I was growing up, there was like there was a little girl that I thought was a boy, and I was like ten, and I said, "Hey, what's up, dude?" And she turned and was like, "I'm a girl," and she had short hair and like everything else. But here's the thing: I don't know why it's such a big deal nowadays. Like it's a huge deal, but there's some other things that I think we should be worried and concerned about. Like, the fact that helium is leaving our atmosphere and will never return. Helium was made in the Earth, right? And we're just putting it into balloons and letting it go. <clears throat> Except we have been finding ways to take hydrogen and smash those together. Like, if you take a hydrogen 2 and a hydrogen 3, you can smash them together to make helium, which also produces one um, hydrogen isotope, which is actually alpha radiation. Right, one proton, one neutron, no electrons. If it came out of the middle of a pro, uh, of an uh, an atom, that would be a an alpha decay radiation. And for those of you that don't know, beta decay ra radiation is actually just electrons. So if you guys know the structure of an atom, proton, electron, uh, neutron, then you can figure out um, the alpha and beta radiations. Uh, now, gamma is a different kind of radiation. I'm not going to get into the details or scrutiny about what a uh, gamma is. Basically, it's it's an energy release from the electron changing valence shells or switching switching energy levels. <gasps> Wait, oh, the shadow up there! I just I saw the top of it, and I'm like, oh, it's a spook tree. It's not. It's not a spook tree. This is just great. Why is there a rock? Oh, that's a tree. <laughs> Code, you're going insane, dude. How long has it been since you've played Lumber? Yesterday. Oh, stop. All right. All right, nothing over here, nothing over here. Oh, uh, somebody is up this direction. Because somebody was climbing. Hold on, let's go back. Did we see anybody up there? I didn't see anybody. But th those look like recently cut trees. No, I don't see anybody. So, and we're at 24 minutes. So I, th I. Th thought it was going to be a shorter video than this, but it's not. It's a good night. It's a good day to record, and I'm very, feeling very happy. Um, I posted on Twitter a couple of days ago that not all battles are physical. Or not, not all strength is physical. Um, I was in a bad headspace, and I get like that sometimes. And it's not because my life is bad or I had a bad thing. It's 
it's scared. Being scared of the world. And I don't know any other way to like say this. And don't think of it as like, oh no, the world. Think of it as a very big overarching view of the world and its entirety and all of its civilization. And then realizing that we're flying on a rock through the universe. And that all of those limited resources are here on Earth. In fact, your entire life revolves around the fact that the sun comes up in the morning, it goes down at night, you live a life. Like, it's... I have a car payment, but I live on a rock flying through space around a sun. <laughs> like, uh, what is our reality? Like, what is what is the, the fact that you're going to school every single day to become a smarter person, to go and get a job, to make money in the world, or to make the world a better place? Like, your end goal in life, even if you're like a child, even if you're like five years old, your end goal in life is to pass on this knowledge, to learn more and to discover the world around you, right? But we don't like homework and we don't like our teachers and I get bullied at school. All part of it, all part of the social construct and the, the everything that's in your life. I'm stuck, aren't I? I'm like stuck, stuck. Okay. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of this. Alright. You know what? You are sucking right now. This sucks. <laughs> Get back in the car. All right, B. Just get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car. Jump out of the car. Wait for a second. Get back in the car. Why is he not getting in the car now? Because his hands out. Oh, there we go. Going to first person. Oh, I couldn't get my blueprints out. I was stuck in the car, and every time I sat down, it'd take away my menu, so I couldn't get the blueprints going. <sighs> Rough night. <laughs> it's a it's a rough night when you can't. Flip your car. There we go. Got my blue blueprints out, and I'm picking stuff up. <sighs> Not a very good night for Spookwood, I guess. Nothing on top. Nothing over there. Nothing over here. Oh. Presents are out, right? Pumpkins? Weren't they here? Oh, yes! Gloomy pumpkin. For 808. Nice. One, two, three. Hi, Bob. Long time no talk. 2424. Uh, what? Oh, did I hit the. Oh, I'll take it. Dang it! Sorry, Bob. I was I was just kidding. He <laughs> thinks you're welcome, dude. I know you're living out here all by yourself. Need that cash money. Okay, you're not sitting there. You're going to the back. Boom, boom, boom. Is the candy in the store? I think I think the candy's in the store. Grammy sent me a message saying the items were out. Thank you, Grammy. Appreciate you. And. For those of you that have not joined the Discord, the Discord is in the description. I love it when I get comments like, Code, send me a link to your your uh, Discord. And I'm like, it was, just scroll a little bit longer. 
every single one of my videos should have all the links. Um, well, that's not entirely true. You'll see an evolution of links. So you can set the defaults to your videos when you upload them, right? And my defaults have changed over the years. So you can watch the progression of the, the stuff in the description. Like today's video, if you look in the description, has the same kind of text as yesterday's video. There's only like one part that I change. All the rest is just links and everything. So. He he what? Upgrade to what? Alright. No spookwood today. Dang it. Is that spookwood way out there? It is. It's on the island. It's on the island, guys. That's why I can't get it. My hair is looking grayer. I promise. That's that's just the sheen to it. There's the grays the grays over here on the sides, and it's like right here. So. Anyhow, oh. let's get battle. Oh wait, what time is it? Thirty-one. Yeah. Tell you what, I will set my uh, calendar and a reminder tomorrow. We will go get some candies and try and get uh, pink or gold or whatever it is this year. So, there we go. <clears throat> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Askins, Code Prime. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. And here's the thing that I think a lot of people... Um, were drawn to, all right. When I got into YouTube and started doing the courses and the the classes and everything, they they're constantly berating you, saying, "Call to action, call to action, call to action." What is a call to action? Call to action is don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do it now. And I'm like, that's forceful that's subscribe remind them do it subscribe why if they like you then they're going to subscribe if they don't like you then don't push it i don't know i i felt weird about that whenever i saw them teaching the classes and going through all the things i'm like why and i think that's what brought you guys here because i always say i'm like don't forget to like comment and subscribe right subscribe or not if you want you were here you watched you had fun and that's all i was doing i was just coming on the internet to make a video so you could uh, see it and i could record some for the day that's it and right now i'm going to go take a shower and go to bed because i'm tired and this is a good day <sighs> happy wednesday <sighs> outro That is not an outro, sir. That is that is purely an intro. Steven. No, I'm blaming you for that one. <sighs> outro.